The fire fundamentals triangle, shown here, is used to describe the factors necessary for combustion. In the case of wildland fire, fuel comes in the form of living and dead plant matter like shrubs, trees, litter, and woody debris. Oxygen comes from the atmosphere, and heat comes from an ignition source such as lightning. If all three legs of the fire fundamentals triangle are present, the fuel is ignited and it can become a source of heat for other fuels. Fire behavior basically is how our fire is interacting and responding to the environment. There's all these different factors that go into it. But obviously fuels are the main source of energy uh, of a fire and basically can include anything that burns. So there are several factors, uh, these fuel characteristics that we look at uh, that help us help us predict the fire behavior on the ground. Um, but fuel loading, uh, chemical content, moisture content, continuity are really important factors. So here's our fire behavior, fire and triangle. The most variable and unpredictable of all three of these is obviously going to be weather, right? Weather is always constantly changing, which means our fire behavior on the fire line is going to be constantly changing. So there are several variables. Um, these are the main ones that we're going to talk about that are the most common. Temperature, relative humidity, wind, precipitation, sky cover, and stability. I'd say the biggest one is relative humidity. So, and this is the amount of moisture in the air. Um, as the air becomes, you know, more dry, that moisture is pulled from those fuels. So basically that low humidity is gonna cause an increase in fire behavior. So wind can carry sparks and fire brands across our fire line, right? They can also bend the flames uh, that preheats the fuels, but it can also disperse smoke in areas of our choosing, which is a good thing. Precipitation can, if it rained like a little bit in the morning, in grassy fuels, by the afternoon, you potentially could burn pretty well. So single events don't usually impact moisture levels in, in heavy fuels like trees, right? It takes longer time to soak that up. Uh, hot temperatures are gonna accelerate evaporation. So just think about it as higher temperatures basically mean increased fire behavior. So the, the art of this, is to take these low intensity factors and these high intensity factors and weave them together to come up with a prescription that's going to meet your objectives. So there are days that we do not want to burn and the weather service does a really good job of like issuing what we call red flag warnings. So we don't want to burn during these days, but also if you have one of these after you burn, like so let's say the day after you burn, um, you always want to make sure that you go check your burn unit the day after, 